Yo, what's up traders? Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you a one minute scalping trading strategy and we will be using three indicators for this one. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so yeah, you can use this trading strategy if you're trading crypto, Forex or stocks, it doesn't matter. And you can also use this on multiple time frames. Uh, but yeah, for this trading strategy, uh, yeah, for this video, I will showing you the one minute time frame. I will demonstrate it on a one minute time frame. Okay, let me show you the indicators. First, we are looking for the whole suite, which is this one over here by Insilico. Then we have the CMF, which stands for the shaking money flow. And then we have the parabolic SCR. And make sure to use this one by Everget. Okay, then we need to adjust some indicators. Let me show you over here. Uh, instead of 55, we will be using the 100. And we do not touch the colors. The parabolic SCR, we do not change anything. Uh, regarding the inputs but i changed the color to red because yeah i like that color more than i believe it was yellow or orange so yeah i've changed this one and then we are looking at the cm cmf indicator shake and money flow indicator i changed uh, the line indicator the line signal instead of the dash or the dotted but i change it to line and i also give it a nice white color so it's really easy to see you can also give this a red color or a yellow or a green it doesn't matter and we also use a 15 length setting so let me show you the trading strategy Okay, so we need to look out for a red hole suite indicator, which starts about here. Then we drop down and we need, yeah, let's say a sell signal uh, because yeah, this is red. So we only look for sell opportunities. Then we need to wait for the CA CMF to be above the 50 level. I mean the zero level, uh, yeah, it needs to be above the zero level, which is here. And then we need to wait for a sell signal. So that is here. We grab the tool, place our stop loss a few pips above the latest high, which is about here. Then we are aiming for a 1.5 to 1 risk reward ratio. Yeah, so that's about here. So this is a nice winning trade. So instead of taking the trade when the CMF is below the zero line, what 99% of the people that use this indicator does, uh, yeah, we are waiting for a pullback situation. That is when the price, I mean, when the CMF is above the zero line. So this is a nice pullback. And then we wait for our parabolic SCR indicator to give us a sell signal okay a buy opportunity over here we see that the whole suite is green at this moment from this moment about here uh, it's green then we are waiting for the cmf to be below the 50 level that's about here and from that moment we are looking for a buy signal of the psr the parabolic scr indicator and that is about here when the CMF is below the zero level. That's really important. And we also see that this is green. So we grab our tool. This is a yeah, quite big of a stop loss target. So yeah, I rather not take this trade, but if you're aiming for a 1.1 risk reward ratio trade, then this one was a nice winner uh, because yeah, it even went higher 1.24. Um, but I think that in the end this went down quite a lot so yeah if you see huge candles like this then I rather not take the trade but yeah if you did take the trade then this was a nice winner one more buy opportunity the final one let me show you the last buy opportunity for today 
over here we see that yeah a disc candle it's really hard to see but it definitely is the whole suite is green so we drop down we see that the cmf the shaken money flow is below the zero level and yeah and we also see at this candle a buy signal by the parabolic SER. we grab the tool over here we take the trade use our stop loss below the latest low which is here and then we are aiming for a 1.5 to 1 risk reward ratio trade but this even went higher and reached a 3.4 risk reward ratio trade which is a lot of course if you have any questions let me know down below if you enjoyed this video if you have learned something new just give this video a like subscribe and i see you in the next video